What is up everybody? Matt with Micah Designs here. Welcome to another edition of not running your screen printing business at home, but running a screen printing business. Just to give you guys a little bit of an update, our shop is pretty close to being 100% set up which is fantastic but also at the same time we are in the midst of catching up with a bunch of orders we have a new little system that we kind of develop we do kind of need some sort of print management software something that's affordable i could go on and on but this is working for us at the moment and as you can see, there's a lot of design work that I need to do. We have a few things out being proofed, uh, stuff that we have outsourced. And here are the things that are currently being printed. Here's some stuff I need to screen prep. And uh, got a lot to do, so I need to go to the office and do some design work. Let's go. Okay, so I have a little design project we have to do for a client of ours. It's about 300 shirts. It's a benefit deal we decided that we would donate our design time to doing that so i need to take care of that and we'll get to doing some other things like reclaiming screens and printing some t-shirts so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this while shannon the shop now she's not really feeling all too well today but she's still killing it and if you're hearing a lot of noise in the background these days it's because we're pretty close to an airport Okay, so I got this design all finished up. <laughs> okay, so I got this design all finished up. This is a completely separate project from what you saw me designing. I didn't go through the whole design process, but uh, it's because the screen capture just was getting way too big. So that's what this design ended up looking like finished. Got that all taken care of and we got a package in. Let's see what it is. It's like Christmas, but not really. So we sent some shirts out to one of our DTG vendors. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of looks like you. But that's what happens when you send a low res image and you have to knock the background out. And then we have this one here, which actually came out looking really good. It looks pretty badass. What do you think, Shay? Yeah, it looks good. I think they'll be happy with it. Okay, I'm going to wash out a couple screens. That's it, just a couple of them. We've got this huge order to print. Finish doing the backs on. That's taken up quite a bit of time. And this is the job we have up next that will, that will require a couple screens. So I'm gonna wash these two screens out here and then put some of these inks away and clean some of the squeegees up that we use on a couple other jobs. So. Let's wash out some screens. 
Let's, let's wash out some street. Cleaned up. Got my squeegees clean. A couple screens clean. Still need to toss that away. We'll go ahead and toss the screens in the homemade drying rack. This thing is actually pretty awesome. Kind of hard to do it one-handed, but there we go. Take this dude. Stick it in here as well. Got her all turned on. That way it will evaporate the moisture out of there. Now I need to put those dudes away. Put this away. And then I'm going to go pick up some embroidered polos that I outsource. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and we're gonna hit the road. Are you all good, Shannon? You got it? You need anything? <laughs> While I am on the road, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. I got a new phone. I got an iPhone X and have been using this particular vlog. I am using the 4K settings, except for this little video here, because I'm using the front camera right here, which I believe is only 1080p. So let me know what you guys think of the quality of this video using the, the HD feature. We also have another camera on hand that we were loaned for doing our video logs, and it's a Rebel T3i, I believe. And so I'm gonna try and use that one next video, although I need a tripod or, or some sort of selfie stick for the camera, but next video log, I'm going to use this Rebel and see how that works out. Okay, we have our shirts and on our way back to the shop. I'm gonna turn some air on, it's hot. It's 97 degrees outside, so let's kick it guys and I'll see you at the shop. Okay, so I am back at the shop. The shirts look great. We're gonna let our clients know that those are ready. We're gonna fire up the press and screen print some shirts. So y'all stick around and watch us hammer out about 600 shirts. Yeah, we probably won't get all 600 done but we're definitely gonna make a dent in them. It is, let's see, it's about five o'clock. Five o'clock, we close at seven, but we're going to work on these for a few hours and at least get half of them done. So check this out.
Okay, so we are all finished for the night. We got about four of these cases knocked out and we have another, huh, actually we got about four and a half cases done and another four more cases to do. We're gonna pick that up tomorrow and finish that up. Got a little bit of a late start today. Reason being is, well, we had a lot to do. And just as we were starting to do shirts, one of our ugh, one of our neighbors across the way happened to invite us over to eat some barbecue because I gave him a little bit of a hard time as we were leaving one day and said, hey, next time you're barbecuing out there, hook me up. And he did, he hooked us up generously. But anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. I really appreciate it. As always, don't forget, we're an official rep for Cat Spit Productions. So if you're in the market for screen printing supplies or equipment, use our promo code Mikey Designs at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. Be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.